folks and uh, welcome to Great Chesterford Junction Model Railway and this is supposed to be the September update but actually we're almost through uh, October already so call it what you want. Uh, technically we'll say it's a September update but I might be a month behind from now and I've had um, quite a few things to deal with in the last month or so and uh, I've been away interstate dealing with family issues and all that sort of thing so uh, not much time spent on the railway. Uh, what I have done is, um, since the last update, I've uh, completed the cattle dock, almost completed the cattle dock, and I can show you a bit of that later. But just a bit of bit of housekeeping first, um, if you can call it housekeeping, maybe it's a bit of a rant. Um, I've got um, a bit over 8,000 subscribers now, and 8,000 of those, uh, mostly 8,000 of those people are really top people. They watch, some of you, some of you comment, and 99.99% um, .99 of comments are positive and you know very nice to read and all that sort of thing and I like to uh, reply to those comments but I suppose it's the curse of social media and and you you might say well Gormo you should realize this and I do realize this that uh, when you put yourself out there and start making videos you do attract the other element uh, that like to uh, criticize and uh, you know, they're basically armchair modelers They can make comments about everything you do mostly negative comments and When you look at their sites or anything you can't really see any evidence of them doing anything themselves so uh, you know, they uh, Seem to like to sit back in the shadows and, and criticize for no good reason uh, just recently I had a guy who uh, doesn't like my uh, tree over the back here. He said it looks like a piece of broccoli. Well, I suppose he's right. It does look like a piece of broccoli. But um, when you <laughs> look at the trees in the background, in the printed background there, it's sort of mimicking those. So, yeah. Um, I had another guy the other day who thought uh, my titles were a self-indulgence. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. What's wrong with these people? Um, my tendency is to either comment back to these people in some form or just block them from my site. So one way or another I'm going to have the final say in uh, what happens on, on this particular channel. As I said, 99.99% of my subscribers are lovely people and I love you all. <laughs> so we get the odd, the odd one that creeps in and uh, has got some sort of acts to grind or wants to be on a soapbox or doesn't like the look of my face or whatever so personally I don't give a stuff and uh, I'll do my own thing and continue to do my own thing so anyway we've got that out of the way so um, yeah anyway let's get on to something about the railway okay folks I've got a cattle dock over here behind this um, little goods train so I'll, I'll just move that out of the way might take a second. We'll get that out of the way. Now it's um, it's a ratio cattle dock that you're probably all familiar with, and um, if I zoom in a bit, you'll get a better look at it. Now, what I uh, had here was a narrow sort of uh, area to use, so the cattle dock had to uh, be modified. In other words, its depth was uh, modified and um, so it's nowhere near as deep as the original model would have been. Which um, And this involved um, sort of uh, eliminating the uh, back section of the deck there uh, which had the pre-drilled holes for the posts. So I've had to uh, come in and um, re-drill holes uh, closer in and I've, I've basically <laughs> In the end, I've redesigned how it's all laid out. Um, it's, it's come up quite well, and then it's been incorporated into this whole platform here, uh, which will, uh, from the end of the, uh, the sandy bit here, um, we will have a good shed going all the way down there and uh, ending before the, it gets to the end of the platform there. So the, the, the good shed is being uh, built at the moment. But what I'll do first is uh, I'll show you a bit of um, a slideshow uh, which um, covers the, um, the building of the cattle dock. Uh, one thing I should point out, and uh, the 
the paving and the edging and everything that came with the cattle dock uh, basically well yeah it ends here the, the top paving anyway and this paving here um, was um, was um, made by me out of some card to try and match what was already there uh, but anyway all this will become clear in the slideshow so we'll get on with that now The, uh, the good shed that's going to go along there is um, I've uh, drawn it all up in LibreOffice and uh, it also needs to be a low relief uh, setup because there's not a lot of space on the actual platform to have a full size good shed. In other words, what's going to be missing from this good shed is you know how on the um, not the track side but say the road side you would normally have an awning coming out over the, the loading area. Well, they'll, I've, I've had to basically get rid of that so that I can put the building up flush against the, the back scene. And uh, so I'm, in, I'm at the assembly stage at the moment. Whoops, I just dropped something, I'll pick that up. Right, uh, I've got a handful of parts here. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, one of the walls that's uh, been completed. This time um, I'm making the, the whole thing out of cereal box card. So this wall eventually will have uh, one, two, three, four, four layers. Of card um, there's there's two layers there there's the front and there's a filler layer and uh, we will have windows going inside this area here and if I put that down we've got um, that's the that's the inner wall and that's done in painted brick I've got to do the arch lintels yet and all that sort of thing and you can see that it's it's cereal box card now this is quite flimsy actually, and, but once you start gluing a couple together, it becomes very rigid. Um, on the outside of the main wall, I've got this, this overlay, so that's going to be done in, uh, in bricks. And so it will, it will go over there, but just imagine all that white area is going to be covered in brick paper. So that's the, that's the third layer that will go on there. And, um, and then we've got some ends. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? We've got now. If you if you look at this end, you'll notice that I've got a short section and a long section. So what's going to happen with this uh, good shed is that it will sit on top of that platform that I was just describing for the cattle dock, and I can just lift it off. 
and uh, the idea is to make it easy for track cleaning I just lift it off and um, I might put a couple of parts in position so you can get a better idea of uh, how it's going to look. Right I'm just putting a couple of parts in now and the question is whether they will stand up. This is not entirely accurate but that's close enough I suppose and um, yeah so it's going to fit in there like that so if we just zoom in a bit more you can get a better idea of how it's going there it's got to um, it's got to clear a track that's here and I'm just having second thoughts about that I'll, I'll have to check that but um, whoops and uh, we'll see how it goes in the end but that's the plan anyway well, folks, that's a, that's a very brief um, update, um, but actually there's not too much to update on. Um, I've got some um, cows to go in the cattle dock. I've got a crane, a yard crane to build that uh, will go inside the goods shed. Um, and uh, at the moment, uh, I've got another project going on. Uh, my friend Gary has um, decided to build me a um, coal stage. For the far end of Bamford here so we just move down and have a look where that's going yeah so um, down in this area here folks um, I've got a card template cut out and that is basically the base of where this coal stage will go and hopefully you can see that um, so my friend Gary's building one out of um, styrene and it's going to sit in this area here and uh, he, uh, he's pretty much almost completed it. Uh, he's up to the painting stage now. And uh, I'll have to clear out some ballast under here so it'll sit in properly. And I've got a uh, water crane kit, a ratio water crane and fire devil kit, which may go over here somewhere. We're going to try the, um, the uh, coal stage first and see how it pans out position-wise. We might have a water crane here, we might have it there. Um, I might even have it up on the, the platform here. But anyway, that's that's a work in progress. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Gary's going great guns with that. So we'll we'll have a look at that when he's finished. And, uh, yeah, next time I, I do an update, um, I'll uh, probably show you that as well. Uh, if you're interested, he's doing a, um, uh, a thread on Platform 1 MRC. Uh, it's uh, Gormos Bamford coal stage you'll see it there it's up the front somewhere if you want to have a look at his progress and how he's going he's, he's going very quickly actually so yeah what a nice thing to do so folks that's where we are at the moment so i hope you've enjoyed that and i'll catch up with you next time stay safe cheers gourmet